up you guys, it's Lauren and today is going to be a story time about the ghost I saw down at the pond in my old house, in my very first house. So to set the scene a little, a few of my neighbours and my friends have decided we were going to go down to the pond which we all called the Resi, we used to hang out down there quite a lot but I always had like this weird eerie vibe from it because I've always been one of these people and I know a load of people are going to be like this bitch is crazy like I do not understand but I've always been one of these people and a lot the girls in my family um like my siblings the girls they also pick up on a lot of like ghostly things like my older sister sees a lot of orbs um my little sister kind of has the same thing as me she hears them and sometimes sees them I've kind of grown out of seeing them now but we haven't picked up on anything from my youngest sister yet so that could be interesting but yeah so we all went down to the brook and then wandered down to the pond and there was this one bit of the pond that kind of reminded me of the film It if you've seen that then you kind of know what I'm going with here because there's a big lake and then the guy the clown dresses up as this kid's dad and it's, it's a long story if you haven't seen it see it watch it it's awesome it's one of my favorite films i'm terrified of clowns but i love it but there you go but we went down there and i decided i was going to face my fear with this part of the brook and just go down there and i don't know see what was down there i was a strange kid i was terrified of everything but i also really wanted to see if the weird feeling was anything more than just a feeling so i went down there and all my friends were like hell no you can do that by yourself if you're ghost hunting bye if you're gonna die it was nice knowing you bye bye so they all left me of course and um i just stood down there like chilling i don't really know what i was doing i was down there for a while by myself i don't know what i was doing it was a long time ago but the next thing i remember now that happened was where i was stood there was concrete here a big wall where all the water ran through and then there was another concrete bit on the other side of the water and I was stood one side and I was just kind of like okay nothing's happened like this is a bit boring now I guess I'm just getting weird vibes for no reason so as I turn to leave and go and find all my friends literally I stood there I kind of looked at the other side I was like this is boring nothing happened so I went like this and as I turned I just heard wheels screech to a stop I turned round and oh my god I've never been so scared in my life of a little kid so this little boy, he must have been about five, I assume he was about five, he um, was dressed all old school like Victorian, kind of the tweed with the hat and if you've seen any old school pictures of like Victorian times you'd know what I mean because you learn about it in school so you get the idea. He was like old school Victorian little boy and oh my god, he had like, a, I think it's called a penny farthing bike and no it wasn't okay because he kind of you know when people try to scare you on their bikes and they go like that and they screech it so the wheel hits you well it just hits you he did that on the opposite side of the brook to me and that terrified me so i went running i set off i was gone and i was literally on the top of this hill that you had to walk down to get to it I was sat on the floor, I was crying, I was terrified, all my friends thought I'd been like attacked or something and then I was like no it was a ghost, it was a ghost and they all just thought I was mental so they sent me home and my mum turned around and was like you're never going to, there's a knock at my door, one second, sorry about that postman but I've been expecting posts so it's fine, I forgot where I got to now, yeah my mum was like you're never going back down there rah, 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 rah. and I only went back down there probably about three or four years later and I was with my friends and I was literally on edge the whole time I was like I do not like this at all nope not for me bye I'm going home not dealing with that little boy anymore mm -mm, nope but I've got another little story to tell you guys ghost wise so oh I'm out of breath I ran up the stairs I apologize I'm not I'm so unfit. But the second ghosty story I've got for you today is my granddad Grimes, which is my mum's dad and I think I met him a couple of times when I was a really tiny baby, like my mum always tells me about how he would, wouldn't would hold us like you normally would with the actual the baby here, he would have us in our car seat and hold the car seat and I just thought it was really cute, he was so scared of breaking us I guess, but he's ever since I can remember 
and I've moved twice now, I've lived in three houses ever since I can remember and he still does it, he's flickered the lights in the house that's not why that's on, that's on because it's dark <laughs> but he's always done it but it's really strange because he doesn't do anything else he won't play with anything else in the house, he won't move things he just tends to flicker the lights like I would get Kieran to back me up but he's on holiday but he's seen it as well we were stood outside because Kieran smokes so we were outside while he was having a fag and we had a little light in the garden that was on the side of the wall and we stood by the door here and then the wall the light was here and oh my god we were stood there and I was telling him about it and my granddad must have been like well I'm gonna scare the shit out of this boy because he started going mental with the light he was like meh, 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 meh. bear in mind this is a light that none of us use in the house so it couldn't have just it could have triggered I guess and just freaked out but none of us tended to use this light because we never really went outside oh look at my hair sorry <laughs> But he does it all the time. I haven't really noticed it in this house, the house I'm in at the moment. Because I've noticed a lot of the ghosts that tend to, I don't know how to say it, like tend to interact with me personally. They don't really do things if Kieran's not here. Wait, if Kieran is here. But while he's not here, they tend to play up a bit. They tend to decide, oh, Lauren's by herself, let's scare the shit out of her. But that's always fun. And one last quick story, which if you guys watch my Sunday vlog, you'll know happened yesterday. Yesterday? Not last night, the night before. I obviously said that I can pick up on ghosts. I don't see them anymore. I grew out of that years ago. Haven't seen a ghost in God knows how long. But I hear them a lot. And I've got this thing, this one ghost that just loves waking me up and scaring the shit out of me which is lovely I really appreciate it thank you so much but I'll be dead asleep and absolutely gone to the world not even like half asleep no full on asleep and I'll be led there and it's never anything that I can quite understand but it like shouts in my ear and it's really strange because it's not like you can feel the person here you literally feel the sound on the inside of my ear it is terrifying and I've been woken up by it so many times and I can never understand what this ghost has said but a couple nights ago I was falling asleep and I'd completely gone I didn't even realize I was asleep obviously because I was asleep but it shouted and it actually shouted my name which really scared the shit out of me. I haven't slept properly since. Like the last couple of nights I, I just haven't slept well. But he's never, I assume it's a him because it's quite a low voice. <laughs> he's never done it before. He's never shouted my name. But I think it's because Kieran's not here. So he can, he can just get away with it. Like he can scare me. Whereas if Kieran's here, he hasn't done it. So that was really scary. He's done it a few times, but never my name. And it was so clear this time, like, I can never hear what this ghost says. Or I'll wake up and I was like, oh my god, what was that? Like, what was he trying to say? But this time it was full on, just shouted my name right in my ear, pooed myself, light was on, laptop went back on. I was like, I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to end up dying in my sleep. But yeah, that's my first uh, story time, paranormal story time with three mini story times in it so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!